Hey everyone, Fire here. Today I'm going to be talking about the buffs to Headhunter that have just come in and are truly insane. Short video today, I'm just going to be explaining why these changes are so damn good. So to begin with, the duration of Headhunter buffs has been tripled from 20 to 60 seconds. On its own, this is a really big deal. But to make matters even better, they are now giving buffs the ability to be refreshed. That's something that Headhunter could not do on the current patch. And they are also widening the variety of rare modifiers that are going to spawn on mobs in a given map. So you're probably used to seeing, for example, you, you go into a map and a lot of monsters have the modifier steel infuser, a lot of monsters have sentinel on them and stuff like that. Well, that's not no longer going to be the case. You're going to see a wider variety and that means you're going to be able to steal a wider variety. Big topic on the current patch at the moment is Headhunter versus Inspired Learning. And prior to today, I think a lot of people would have said Inspired Learning was better than Headhunter because monsters were ha only had one modifier for the most part and with the 20 second duration you were getting very similar effects out of Inspired Learning versus a Headhunter but a Headhunter took up a belt slot which was much more valuable to you since you could put other things like a Mage Blood in that slot. That's no longer the case so Inspired Learning is not getting this buff. So now with Headhunter you're going to run the Valley of Darkness Keystone on your Atlas passives and that's going to allow you to steal two buffs at at minimum every mob for 60 seconds versus one buff for 20 seconds with an inspired learning so in past leagues the gap between headhunter and inspired learning meant that headhunter was three times better than an inspired learning currently now with this change today it's six times better than an inspired learning which is really really busted so a lot of people were already happy with the level of power that an inspired learning granted now you're getting basically six inspired learnings worth of power and the ability to refresh those buffs and a wider variety of those buffs at a given time. I've already spoken to people who have tested out the Headhunter. I can't test it at the moment since Ward Loop doesn't allow you to use a Headhunter since the buffs break your build. But I've been told that when you're doing Juice Beyond content, you can expect between 25 and 40 uh, modifiers on you at any given time. And this is really busted when you consider that Arch Nemesis uh, modifiers are individually a lot stronger than the old Nemesis modifiers. Now, a lot of people don't realize how strong these buffs are, so I'm going to include a list to Chris's post from a couple weeks ago. Now, some of these modifiers have been changed a little bit. Uh, mainly, their immunities have been removed and replaced with 80% avoidance, but for the most part, the strong things are intact. So, for example, you have Steel Infused with 50% additional dam uh, physical damage reduction. You have Sentinel, which is giving you 50-50 block. You know, like, that's, that's a huge deal on its own. Uh, what else do you have? You have... So, Soul Eater, I, I don't know where it is, but you have Soul Eater that's going to be one minute long, right? Now, obviously, if you steal another Soul Eater buff, it's going to refresh, but basically, you have permanent Soul Eater with this, which is kind of crazy. Um, Assassin all hits a critical strikes, and you take no extra damage from critical strikes. There's some really, really, really busted stuff in here, and you're just going to be stacking all... Like, just have a good read of some of these modifiers. These modifiers individually are worth multiple of the old Nemesis modifiers. So being able to now steal two of these per monster for one minute, I think it's not a stretch to say Headhunter is potentially going to exceed the old levels of Headhunter from last patch, for example. I think this is going to be a lot closer to the old self thirst Tem Chains Headhunter, where you're spending the entire map with multiple buffs, and especially because you don't even have to invest in it now, now you just slap on a Headhunter, you can spend the rest of your build building towards forms of power, basically. It's crazy. It is absolutely, absolutely crazy. And in case you guys haven't noticed, a lot of these buffs basically give you physical damage as extra X. This means if this is going to be even stronger for fizz builds than the old Headhunter was. So I, I really, really don't think it's a stretch to say that Headhunter is maybe stronger than it's been in several patches. And do not be surprised if you see Headhunter's price climbing up very, very rapidly. When I first sussed out the changes, Headhunter was still at around... I think when the, head, when the Headhunter buffs went live, Headhunter was around like 40x, and within the next 10 minutes, it climbed all the way up to 60x. When I started making this video, it was 80x, and I wouldn't be surprised if by the time I upload this video, it's close to like 90 to 100x, depending on, you know, on how, how many people are buying. Anyway, as I said, short video. I will probably see you guys either tomorrow or the day after for the Ward Loop content, but in the meantime, uh, start saving for this shit because it's going to be absolutely fucking busted.